Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and first of all, please click like button for support me. It's very important for me and for growing channel. Thank you. So let's go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool and hold shift, make one ellipse. Click session tool and go to click this icon, enable title action, save. Okay, so select shape layer, change name, circle one and go to window, enable align. Click this icon and this icon. Okay, so let's select this circle one and go to color. Let's use color blue like this. Click OK and go to stroke. Let's click stroke and select no for close stroke width. Click OK. So select circle and let's make animation. Let's press S for open scale and change scale zero. Make scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut you can use hold shift press page down on keyboard or click time duration right here plus 10 for go to 10 keyframes click ok and change scale 110% go to again 10 keyframes change 95% again go to 10 keyframes change 100 so say keyframes make easy or click F9 let's animation ok Select the circle 1 and Ctrl D for duplicate. Let's move to right and go to here. Select circle 2, go to search and write size. Let's select this size and change like this. Go to fill and let's use like this blue color. You can use here color code and click OK. Let's animation. Nice. So select the circle, let's close settings, again Ctrl D for duplicate, let's move to right and go to here, select circle 3, let's click size, let's select E and write again size, let's select size, change like this and go to fill, let's use again like this color. So let's animation, nice. So right now let's create new object right mouse new and null object and hold control go to click pen behind let's double click left mouse for move anchor point center click session 2 select null and go to align click this icon and this icon for move the object to center okay select the circles let's link to null object select null press s and change scale like this Ok and let's animation, ok so go to here, there are one detail, let's fix it, I want to close this black background, let's create new solid layer, add the name background and select this eyedropper icon, let's select this blue color, click ok, move to behind and let's see timing, let's move to right, ok. So, we can keep here this background solid layer. Let's animation. Nice. Okay, in this time, let's go to here, select this card and let's move to inside our compensation. And open card, select card here, Ctrl D for duplicate, select reflection layer, move the middle to card layers and click toggle switch, change none to alpha mate card 2. Back to card prom. Let's see, ok, and in this time let's make animation, let's select this car compensation, press P, move up, ok, make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframes, let's move it down and go to 10 keyframes again, move up, I want more keyframes for bonus animation, go to 10 keyframes again, move it down, again go to 10 keyframes, Move up and again move it down. Okay, select two frames, make easy. Let's see animation. Okay, we have problem with two frames. Let's select all two frames, right mouse, go to two frame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK and select this composition, move to left. Let's see. 
Okay, not bad. So, move to left more. Okay, that's good. And let's hold shift press air, open rotation. And go to the first keyframe. Let's see. Okay, let's make first rotation keyframe change minus 10 or change minus 15 and go to next keyframe change 7 go to next keyframe change minus 3 go to again next keyframe change 1 or 1 that 5 go to next keyframe change minus 1 and last keyframe change 0 so there are more keyframes for bones animation select rotate keyframes right mouse keyframe assistant easy and list animation nice okay so select this card and click this icon for 3d composition and in this time let's change quality quarter and go to here make y rotation keyframe and go to here change rotation like this let's see okay say keyframes make easy and let's see timing okay so go to here and make new passing keyframe and go to next keyframe here and let's move to left and let's move to front move to right a little bit okay let's see okay select last keyframe move to left and let's animation nice not bad and let's select this last passing keyframe go to graph editor and let's move to left like this and let's select only this part let's see nice back to keyframes let's select last rotation keyframe let's change rotation more like this and let's animation again okay and let's select last rotation keyframe go to 10 keyframes change rotation like this go to 10 keyframes change again like this Select last keyframes, hold Alt, move to left for fast animation. Let's see. Okay. Not bad. Let's hold Alt, move to right. Okay, and let's hold Control, click here, and select this middle keyframe, right mouse, keyframe assistant, and let's use Easy Easy In. Let's see animation. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's back to circles. Let's select the circle one, two, three, and let's see timing. Let's see in this time press S and make new scale keyframes and go to here, change scales like this. And select keyframes, go to graph editor. Okay, and for fix this graph, let's go to click this icon and let's use edit speed graph and select these keyframes. Let's make graph like this. Let's see. Okay, back to keyframes and select this keyframe. Let's move to right and this for step by step scale animation. Nice. Okay, let's see full animation. Okay, so let's select these keyframes. Move to left for dynamic animation. Move to left more. Nice, and select these scale keyframes. Move to here. Okay, that's good. So let's see timing and make card reflection animation. First, let's open card and select this reflection. Let's press P and hold Shift, press R, open rotation, make two keyframes. 
let's see timing let's go first here and move the keyframes here first second back to here and let's see next keyframe okay let's move to here reflection and change rotate let's see let's go to solo nice and next keyframe let's back to card and move the back change rotation nice and go to next keyframe let's move to right and make keyframes easy okay and next keyframe here let's move to left again chain rotation 2 okay nice and in this time make new keyframes let's make new position and new rotation let's see next keyframe okay so back to here and let's move to right like this nice and let's go to here change rotation and select last keyframes move to right go to graph editor and select these graphs let's move to left let's see this last part nice let's select these last keyframes move to right okay nice and we can select these last few frames move to right go to graph editor and let's make like this very smooth okay so let's close this conversation and let's unsolo okay so let's add text here let's go to text and write get cashback okay let's change color to white and change font size and go to paragraph click for left click session 2 put here and let's go to window open animation comes 3 open starter preset and text layers animate characters and overshot scales so let's use this click in close conversation and move to right this mark for slow animation close settings and move to right let's see timing okay let's move to left nice let's do full animation okay we're good so friends finally let's add shadow go to shape layers let's hold this icon go to select ellipse tool and let's go to here and let's make shadow here clearization tool go to fill let's use this color Let's change to dark click ok and change name shadow and click this icon for 3d layer let's move to here and link to card conversation let's see okay so let's select this blue arrow let's move to front nice and in this time let's go to here let's go to edit and split layer or ctrl shift d select first shadow let's unlink select this node ok 
Okay, and select this first shadow. Let's go to here. Press S, change scale 0. And let's see. Make scale keyframe and go to here, change 100. Select this shadow and move to behind card. Select keyframes, make easies. Let's see. Okay, select last scale keyframe, move to right. And select keyframes, let's move to right. Okay. And select keyframes, let's see timing. Let's move to left here. Okay. And go to here, change scale a little bit. And here, change 100. Okay, not bad. And let's go to first second, hold shift press P. Make new passing keyframe, go to here and move it down and go to here, move it up and here and select first keyframe, copy pass. And select keyframes, make easy. Okay, not bad. We can add some keyframes here. Let's go to here and let's move it down and change scale. And here, again, change scale 100. And say first keyframe, copy pass. Okay, that's good. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.